What's good, you guys? Welcome back to another day from an overcast, misty, you know, rainy, slushy, stormy day at sea. We are presently starting our Chinese coastal. Right now, we've got three storms at the same time. Still drifting, like we are doing very slow speed to reach the next port. But I'm going to show you exactly what's happening. On the screen, you can see behind in the blur that there is a lot of red. I'm going to show you what exactly is happening. This is crazy. I mean, I've never seen a phenomena like this. This could be because of global warming and climate change, but this is this is something new. Count the number of reds and these dots, these uh, circles. This is storm number one. It's called Mer Merbok. Number two is called Nan Mandol. Number three is Muifa, which we tackled. We were in Pyongyang, Korea, heading to the first Chinese coast, and we just received an email saying that the port is closed until further notice. So we are doing right now very slow speed. I'm going to show you. Yeah, so we are doing slow ahead. Our speed is around 11 knots. Many vessels have stopped. As you see, this this guy has stopped. Some are going to the to Korea. We were supposed to go alongside, but as you see, we are still in the open sea. And this is going to carry on until further notice. Like I told you, the ports have closed, so it's going to be a lot of delays this time in our Chinese coastal. As you see outside from my door, you see that ship, APL ship? It is around, let me show you. It's around uh, 3 nautical, 2.5 nautical miles and it is really, you know, misty and blurry. So we have started our restricted visibility checklist. I'm just going to show you what all we cover in that. Uh, Rajiv, can you come to a bridge? This uh, visibility has gone down. Okay. This is a restricted visibility checklist. I'm going to start with the most important points, which is ensure compliance with rule number 19 of code regs. Proceed as safe speed in the prevailing circumstance and conditions. Let's go to that particular book section and take out the Bible. The rules inside these books should be by heart by every navigator. Okay, by not by heart, but at least the understanding of it. I'm going to open rule number 19 now and we are going to dive into that. So rule applies to vessel not in sight of one another, like I showed you. It was inside, but it was restricted or an area of restricted visibility, which you can see outside is restricted. Power driven vessel should have her engines ready for immediate maneuver. So you see, we are going at slow speed and we can play with the engine anytime. So safe speed. Yeah. So these are certain actions for avoiding collisions, which we have to follow only these ones. So in case. We are, you know, having some collision situation. Suppose this number 44 is we are Okay, so it's going to pass more than 11 miles CPA. So it's not a risk of collision with 45. If we see the CPA to more than two nautical miles. So we are all good. But in case if there's a collision kind of a situation developing, then we have to follow only these rules written by in this particular rules rule number 19. So rule number 35 talks about sound signals in restricted visibility. So I'm going to talk about the rule which is applicable right now to us. A power driven vessel making way through water shall sound at intervals of not more than two minutes, one prolonged blast. So for our particular ship, it's making way because you see we are doing 11.1 knots as you can see rightly over here. So we're not stopped or not, you know, uh, anchored or anything. And for this reason, we will have to use this particular auto fog signal selector. So one blow means it will give one prolonged blast. Let's try it. So you're going to hear it. This is a sound reception system. So you, you see there are four LEDs over here. So in case this particular system catches a sound of a fog horn of a ship somewhere over there, it will turn red. And we can increase the volume to just, you know, enhance it better. The shadow sector of radars. This is very important guys. So you see on our radar, there are blind spots. So this is for the S-band radar. 
this particular sector so suppose this this oh, sorry so we are heading like this so this particular sector which is around 290 to 300 degree in between that is a blind spot so we have to be aware of that same thing for this x band radar you see there are two blind spots this is because if you go on the monkey island the radar scanner is obstructed maybe by the funnel or by some another equipment satellite uh, satellite uh, what do you call dome or something like that so it always should be mentioned what are the radar shadow sectors and of course uh, then is use ais ais is this particular equipment we have ais controller you see you can see the ship's name range and bearing on this as well very helpful tool guys we are facing some heavy heavy rolling as you can see right now things are falling behind me see the horizon shit yeah that's some heavy 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 rolling see the inclination of the ship crazy Guys, wow! Holy shit! This, my friend. is the power of the mighty ocean the biggest of the biggest ships are tossed around like small dolls in a battlefield where mother nature always wins the best we can do at these times is to pray that the ship's watertight integrity holds up and gets us past through these mighty swells and seas this kind of weather definitely makes me lazy and uh, makes me want to sleep and crash and just not do any work i don't know if it happened with you all do let me know in the comment section but for now i'm just going to avoid today's uh, overtime because we've got a port tomorrow and uh, consecutive chinese ports after that so i'm going to rest and i'll see you all in the drifting part or whenever yeah let's go let's see so guys we are drifting today as well the port is shut i think i have to call the captain because it's getting bad the visibility is getting bad again captain captain is correct captain the visibility is less than 2 nautical miles just to inform you okay i'll prepare the checklist here okay informed and now i start the checklist because we got vessels around so this storm is called nan madol and it is originated here going towards japan so like i told you we are somewhere here just in between this muifa storm is coming here this particular storm is here we are in the center let's go on our particular weather software and you can see right here guys let me increase the brightness Okay so you see that's Nanmadol and that's Muifa and we are just in between that is why we are facing this bad uh, you know restrictive visibility rain all the time and uh, yeah so this is what i keep saying that nature is unpredictable and when it has to take you it will it can you know catch you off guard if you're not prepared of course we have an option we have all the tools and uh, services So that is why we are safe. I don't know how in the olden times these guys used to navigate with just barometers and you know weather facsimile which are now discarded. Barometer is there, but yeah, these softwares are so helpful. And you see, still 
we are out at sea taking shelter ports are closed hmm yeah sometimes i uh, feel uh, really adventurous you know seeing all this guys as you see the pressure has dropped from 1008 to 998 within the last 3 hours and the weather outside has become really choppy and picked up so the storm center is approaching us so guys i'm just going to go to the engine room today and check out Life what's happening okay live without bye this is a dead snow ahead south tak 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 So guys, the engineers are monitoring the various parameters from here. Engine is dead slow ahead, and we'll go out now. Guys, I just came back on watch at night time. You can see multiple vessels over here doing the same thing what we are doing. We have moved away from our drifting position. We are drifting here. The eye of the storm is currently right over the port of Kingdao where we had to go. So all these vessels are outside taking shelter. So it is the safest place to be. The vessel is not holding on autopilot. So I have Rajiv with me over here. Rajiv is doing the steering continuously for the next three four hours. We'll have to do that. Also, for your information, we are doing every hourly the direction of the wind, the speed, and of course the barometric pressure to understand where the eye of the storm is and is it getting worse or it is getting better. Right now, it is getting worse as you see. Let's quickly head down to the weather program. and see what's happening so our present position is somewhere this is wrong we are somewhere here right now you can see the storm i is just passing over the port of kingdao and hopefully by tomorrow it's going to fade away and we are able to go inside the port and you see the other storm that is intensified into a super typhoon kind of a thing and if we spot the weather spot weather x so it is right now 47 51 knots 59 knots 7.8 meter waves 9 meter waves whoever is here i hope i hope nobody is here is in deep trouble so whatever the case might be we are safe and secure i'll go back to the 
bridge sent up and you know assess whatever there is and i have to call the captain also after a while to reassess and change the course accordingly so it's going to be a long night for us ladies and gentlemen it is the next morning we are back at the same position from where we started yesterday so we did a full circle as i show you over the night to escape the storm and if you see outside the weather is nice and not nice it's re relatively calm the wind speed is 20 knots last night it was 35 40 kingdom port is still not open but i can see like many vessels coming back from the same position where we were back to the area where it is close to the pilot boarding station and yeah this is how we escape storms at sea real time this is the this is as close as it can get guys so if you did like the video till now don't forget to give it a big thumbs up chief forward radio check forward loud and clear okay chief also both anchors ready for emergency both anchors are ready for emergency okay thank you Let's go guys let's go it's a huge port guys you can see multiple big ships alongside our terminal is somewhere over there so we still have some distance to cover but a huge huge port well, we are preparing our ropes now for mooring Guys, we are safely alongside here in the port of Kingdao. This is the first time I'm coming here. I hope you all like the uh, time lapse of the approach. I am making my final passage plans. They are ready. So yeah, all of that is going on. Preparing the bridge. We just have a 12-hour port stay here, and after that, we leave for our next port, which is Ningbo. And we've got a lot of rules and regulations there, guys. So yeah, I'm just uh, on to this. I'll see you all later.